Hello everyone, I am Reem Mortal Hellsager, back with another review, and today I am reviewing the Star Wars Black Series Bo-Katan from The Mandalorian. Let's take a look at the packaging. Alright, so here's the packaging. Down below we have the name of the character, Star Wars The Mandalorian. On the side we have a picture of Bo-Katan, her name on the side of the box. Then there is a bio in several different languages, plus the picture. She is number 10 from The Mandalorian. The other side of the box. Star Wars The Mandalorian. There is the DCPI and barcode. Uh, so uh, let's take a look at the accessories. All right, so for accessories, we do get two dual blasters. Right there, there is paint on the sides of them. And then we get her helmet as well. And the sensor scope does go down. Oh, shit. So it is a very nice accessory there. Take a closer look at the figure. Also, forgot. You can remove her jetpack as well. So there's that. Let's take a closer look at the figure. All right, so here she is. Um, I'm not a fan of this head sculpt. I, I'm going to say that now. It looks like her, but it kind of doesn't at the same time. I don't know. I also don't think they got the coloring right of her hair. It's it, In the show, it's more of a dark color. Here, it's definitely an orange. Um, now, my theory on this is that this was intended to be a Clone Wars figure and that they released it to be a Mandalorian figure. They probably changed the face and all that because this looks more cartoony without the helmet on. At least if you ask me. Is she, here she kind of resembles the show, I guess. I don't really know, but <laughs> if you ask me, she definitely looks a lot like the cartoon. So let's take her helmet off for the articulation. So she does have a, she her neck is on a ball joint. Single jointed elbows. She does have butterfly joints in the uh, elbow. Uh, her hands, down about that. They're both trigger hands, which is great. Single jointed knees. There is ankle pivot on her. Thigh cut. Let's go about that far. She has a diaphragm. Very stiff diaphragm, but a diaphragm nonetheless. So. She got good articulation for sure. And then if um, you want, if you own Moff Gideon, who I luckily just got in yesterday, so perfect timing, you can have her with the dark saber, which is really cool. And she looks great with it. So let's do some comparisons. First off, here she is next to Moff Gideon, Mando, and Grogu. For a female Mando comparison, here she is next to the Armorer and Sabine Wren. Here she is next to some other of my favorite female Black Series characters. Yeah, I really wish Hasbro would put this much effort into their female Marvel Legends, because I feel like these are a lot better than, say, uh... I gotta have one right here, don't I? Yeah, um... Here's a good example. Negasonic Teenage Warhead, you know? I mean, that figure... I think this is kind of a meh figure, pretty much. I think a lot of the females they do in the Legends line are kind of mediocre. Which is a shame, because Black Series, they're dominating with them. And I uh, I think some of these are some of my favorites in this line. Ahsoka is a, a great example of that. They really kicked ass at this Ahsoka figure. And then uh, Ventress, who's going to be my next review, probably. Her or uh, Gideon. If you guys are interested in seeing a Gideon review... I will do it. He's a bit of an old figure, though. And then this Bo-Katan figure is also awesome. Like, they're really kicking ass with these. And then, of course, here she is next to one of my new favorite Black Series figures in my last review, The Return of the Jedi Boba Fett. For a McFarlane Toys comparison, here she is next to Thomas Wayne Batman and Azra... Or not fucking Azra. Spawn. Uh, I don't have Red Hood on me. I didn't feel like getting him for this review, so you're just gonna have to deal with these for now. <laughs> And for your Marvel Legends comparison, here she is next to a Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse Miles Morales 
and a Wolverine from X-Men Origins The Wolverine. And last, but certainly not least, here she is next to my two mascots of this channel, the Retro Spider-Man and the G.I. Joe Classified Snake Eyes. All right, so my, my thoughts on this figure, I think they knocked it out of the park on it. Um, again, that head sculpt I don't, I don't dig. With, with these Black Series figures, the photo reel is a hit or miss with me. Uh, some are amazing, like I think the Moff Gideon's great in the Ventress, and then others like, uh, let's get, yeah, not, not kind of Bo-Katan. This Endor Han looks a little weird, even though I still think it's a good, it's a good sculpt, I just think the, the uh, photo reel looked weird. So, I mean, they've done some great ones, I'm not gonna lie there, Count Dooku's great, Palpatine's great, the best fit Han Solo's great. Not all, it doesn't always turn out well, you know? Like, they don't always, I don't think, uh, they don't always nail it with me. Um, that's just my opinion. The articulation's great. And honestly, if, if I, if you just keep the helmet on, this is a solid 9 out of 10 figure. I fucking love it. I really don't have much complaints with it. It's a fun figure. It's a really nice figure. I'm surprised how much I enjoyed it. I really was just wanting it because I like I, I, I collect the Mandalorian figures. I'm only missing two. I'm missing Quill and then I'm missing the Deluxe Mandalorian figures. I, I, I collect the Mandalorian figures extensively. Um, but, you know, like I... I didn't know how much I was going to love this figure. She's definitely going to end up in my top five Black Series of this year. Uh, in my uh, best figures so far videos, I'm gonna probably have out by May. Is my prediction because I like doing them like on like my, my last week of school, so I'll probably have it in like the last one of the last weeks of May. I'll probably have it out. So in that case, or, or maybe I'll wait for the Snyder. I'll, I'll wait for the Snyder Cut figures to come out. So probably June. That's my prediction. You'll see that video in June, so about two months from now. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, share with your friends that are interested, and goodbye.